The second law of thermodynamics is called, uh, tells us that everything tends toward disorder. Did you know everything is falling apart? If you leave something alone for a while, it's going to rot, rust, die, break down, or fall apart. Nothing gets better by itself. The Bible teaches that. The heavens are the works of thy hands, they shall perish. They wax old as doth a garment. Nothing gets better by itself. Take a look at your hairdo when you wake up in the morning. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Everything tends toward chaos. Here is Sue at 20. Here is Sue at 900, or at 90. <laughs> and here is Sue at 3,000. Everything tends toward chaos, folks, and you will also be ready for that day. But the textbook says we're getting better. Yes, boys and girls, humans probably evolved from bacteria more than four billion years ago. Was your great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandpa a bacteria? Now, the t t evolutionists will say, now, Hovind, don't you know you can overcome the second law by adding energy? They say the earth is an open system. It receives energy from the sun. Oh, and that's supposed to fix the problem, huh? Well, you got several real serious problems there, sir. First of all, the universe is a closed system by definition, not receiving any more energy. Secondly, adding energy is destructive unless there's something there to utilize the energy, an intelligent force. The Japanese added a whole bunch of energy to Pearl Harbor one day, didn't they? They didn't organize a thing for us, did they? We returned the favor and added some energy to a few of their cities a couple years later, didn't we? Didn't, didn't organize a thing. We've been adding energy to cities all over the world ever since, folks. It hadn't, 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 hadn't organized a thing. See, adding energy is destructive unless there's something to use the energy. The sun adds energy to your roof all day long. And it'll destroy the roof on your house, not build it. The sun will actually destroy your entire house if you don't keep fixing things. The sun will destroy the roof on your car, not build it. It'll destroy the paint job, not build it. There's only actually one thing that can use the sun's energy, and that is chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a highly designed, complex molecule that uses the sun's energy. So when these evolutionists say, the sun adds energy and that somehow overcomes the second law, they're either dreaming or they're lying to you. It does not overcome the second law.